Grand Rising Earth Suns Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Um, today I do have a little special guest who may say some things in the background. My baby boy, um, <laughs> he's tracing his letters. So if you hear a child speaking out, you're not hearing things. You actually hear my baby. Um, so today I have some messages for you um, from the person that you are no longer in contact with, or the person that's on your mind, heart, just resonating deep within your soul. We're going to be uncovering what it is that you may need to learn from the situation. If it's what it is that this person wants to say to you, just all the juicy details. So if you would like to see more of this type of content on my page, just make sure that you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and leave comments below to let me know if this resonates with you or not. And we're just going to get directly into your, ma what? wait, wait, I'm not good with these YouTube intros. I think I said, Oh, yeah, if it resonates with you and you would like to book a personal or follow me on Facebook and any other social sites that I have, I will um, drop my links um, in the description box below for my website, my booking site, and, um, you know, my Facebook, my Instagram, yada, 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 yada. Today, I am going to work on not doing as much cussing, but I'm not going to like, he ain't never heard it before. So, 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 you know what I'm saying? But moving forward we're just gonna get into these messages y'all so if it resonates make sure that you hit that like button and if it don't just allow time to fly by and my readings are timeless that they might happen now they could have happened later some things that did happen previously before ain't out here just yet so you know take it how it resonate just go to all your placements we gonna argue about it today spirit show me what's going on with taurus virgo capricorn with the person that is either on their mind they are no longer in country god damn Mm. The person that they aren't in contact with or they're not speaking with currently at the moment. What's going on with their energy? Divine, show me what's happening with these earth signs and these people. Someone could have some legal issues or some things in their life that is needing to come into balance. You could be dealing with someone who has child support issues. Um, I'm also hearing old cases just being clearing out. Um, I also feel like with this card, it, it, it signifies a balance within karmic debt as well. So some of you are, or you yourself, but you're, you or your, this person could be dealing with just clearing the path and making room for what's to come and what's next between you and them. I do feel like someone is going to try to come in and love bomb you try to manipulate you try to tell you all the sweet things because they're finding you unresistible um they're feeling very blindsided to the fact that they couldn't find another one like you out there and there's this heavy energy of they done been all the way around town and stuff like that and if i was you i wouldn't necessarily take this person back and you know what i mean when i say they'd been around town baby that thing had been everywhere but loose they got that community they <laughs> They, they they got that community community but i do feel like someone is just be wary of somebody coming in trying to love bum you or um manipulate your emotions overall just to play on you so that they can receive what it is that they want because this is somebody who don't necessarily want to settle down at all this is someone who still wants to travel and be adventurous and just be out here there was someone who's got like a very fixed mindset so when when you hear somebody say this person is set in their ways that is uh the truest thing i've ever received and heard here your person is literally set in their ways you could be setting your ways too however your ways is like i'm not dealing with this but somehow you still are and you need to unset them ways yeah let me i just had to say that yeah yeah see a lot of smoke and mirrors but i feel like with this smoke and mirror card it's more so like the reflection that you thought that you saw between you and that person is neither true nor there and it's time for you to accept an entirely different reality which is really the truth for you this person has other things that they need to tend to that you didn't already made peace with and they're not trying to make peace there or 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 receive i would like to say receive your assistance or the um the love and the care and attention that you've been trying to put into this situation and it is energetically draining like this person coming off crazy as hell um could be dealing with a gemini cancer or lower leo gemini cancer or leo those signs are really pretty much so coming out for you earth signs 
Yeah, this is somebody who could not care less and gave you the cold shoulder. Literally, as I was describing it, the card was already there just to confirm. And it's like, Spirit, what's going on here? Why is it like this? So, I mean, your no contact for some of you could just literally be somebody trying to balance their life out versus someone who's really out here for the streets and they're giving it up to everybody. And you have to take it as it resonates. Don't try to force nothing to fit. And I would say this, an honest conversation between you and your person or you and this person will set things into motion. And if you try to communicate with them what it is that you felt, trust me, they heard you, they received you, but they're doing what it is that they want to do. And if you aren't strong enough to be, if you're not stronger than your um, your emotions, then they bet they're going to get you every time. So just be mindful of that i don't care how much my uh, throbbing or not it's just i ain't got time and then i say something but i feel like this is like karma clearing out yeah poetic justice so much is balancing out right now especially with this 10 this is this is the vibrational energy of 10 cycles ending so that new ones can begin like you have to end these cycles with this person or the way that you allow this person to show up you gotta put your foot down they're either going to literally change because they want to they want to be present or they're going to get the fuck on regardless of the fact spirit is just saying allow karma to do its thing it is clearing a lot out for most of you, this is an opposites attract situation. So you and this person could definitely be 100% different from each other in so many ways. You could be a different race, um, come from a different, um, you can be the same race and still come from a different background and stay like that. But whatever it is about the two of you, it definitely brings that fiery passion. Like I got that little mm -mm feeling below. Yeah, it brings that. It's so exciting. And it's like some of you feel like you're just entirely in too deep with this. And you oh, you and you can't seem to fit, find a way out of the situation. And that is 100% okay. You can go watch TV. You can go ahead. Shake Spider-Man. Love you. Yeah, so a lot of you are like really like 100% I'm trying to convince yourself or in your own state of mind you're telling yourself like okay i'm into deep i'm way like you shit it, it's just something about the way that you invested that time and energy into that person where you, you either feel like if i walk away now somebody is going I, and just take it as it resonates but somebody feels as if, if i walk away now somebody else is going to be able to appreciate what it is that i put into that person no the fuck they won't I'm so glad my baby walked off so I can tell y'all how I feel for real. No, the fuck they won't. This person is not going to appreciate shit. They ain't going to do a motherfucking thing. There is not a 360 to come behind this one. Not the fuck boy. Now, the person who is getting their self into balance and really just coming into play to realize that what they're seeing in the mirror is their own undoing. I, I would say maybe, but there there also comes a time where you have to learn who it is that you're supposed to be patient for and who it is you're supposed to walk away from. Because in, at the end of the day, everything that glitters ain't gold. 808, as I say it. But you're not in so deep to where you can't release. Like, the, the, the vibrational frequency out here is 5 and 7 and 10, and it's heavy as fuck. That 5, 7, and 10 says a lot. Let me tell, talk to you about that 5. 5 signifies changes, whether they are brutal and sudden and harsh, or they are loving, sweet, and, and kind. But those changes are also a reflection of what it is that you put into what you got going on, or the actions that you put towards what it is that you want to have going on. That 7 is all about your intuition, your inner knowing and trusting yourself your wisdom and just allowing what is coming through spiritually to be your guidance and a lot of you are trying to go against your own intuition because you you too deep with your feelings your feelings are meant to be felt they are not meant to control you feelings are meant to be felt they are not meant to be lived yeah i had to say it like that feelings are meant to be felt not lived because if you living in anger that's some ludicrous shit you can <sighs> You can vibrate within love, but you can't just necessarily live within it because whew, there is so much that you love. So let me see you live within it. Do it. It's, feelings are meant to be felt, not to control you. And, you know, sometimes when it comes down to the, to, let me talk about love for a hot second. When it comes down to that frequency of love with you and that person, 
the feeling that you get from them that's the love there that's what we're going to consider the love because that's what it really is that feeling that you receive from that person is the love and it just makes you want to continue to have that person and pull them in so you can continue to feel that feeling and what spirit is saying is if you're not already full with what what you you saying that you need to keep feeling from this person it'll never be enough insatiable as fuck and i feel like that's what some of you are dealing with with just your feelings and 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 the tr versus the truth and this is what this person is dealing with the feeling that you give them whether it's a good sexual feeling a good loving feeling a healing feeling an energetic boost feeling an ego stroke ass feeling regardless of the fact that feeling is what keeps them coming back to you and that's something that they come to claim and that's the only thing they come to claim versus you are going in to claim it all and spirit is saying that you have to be stronger than your own feelings about the situation from what it is that you're receiving from the feelings of the other person so that you can be able to let go stop trying to hold on to that feeling there because that is half ass you all in and they ain't even coming for you the way that you're going for them so what what no nah. and i just hope that resonated and reached whoever it needed to reach but let's get back into a spirit what's going on with these earth signs Who is Virgo, Capricorn? Bit, 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 baby, baby, baby. You know, my explanation, I, I wasn't even sure where Spirit was taking me with this, but now I'm getting it. They said, checkmate, chest not check is fool. Check fucking mate. You literally do have the upper hand when it comes down to this. And I'm not calling you a fool. I love you. But you literally do have, oh my gosh, you have the upper hand when it comes down to dealing with this other person. Like it, it's impossible for them to necessarily to come in and fuck over you and win because you're one, your spirit team ain't going for that, but they also are allowing you to make your own choices and decisions. But two, you are becoming more aware of what it is that you're choosing. You're you're recognizing that okay, I'm consciously choosing to hurt myself this is not even coming from the the other half of the consciousness you, you know what i'm saying you're like literally conscious consciously choosing to hurt yourself and now that you're making the choice to say uh-uh it's checkmate bitch yeah checkmate on that ass you can play but you got to play somewhere else you can't play with me you can't play around here you gotta go didn't i tell you that this is somebody who who literally comes in for what it is that they want only what they want the feeling that they are seeking and then after they get that feeling they back out the fucking door they back out the door this ain't what you holding on to and this ain't what you got time for i ain't even gonna go no further into this situation especially with because spirit said what needed to be said was said so it is what it is and if you know me i don't go against my spirits i don't go against my team we've been locked in forever Okay, so that, that is what it is, Earth Science. It's just you have to choose you. You will be able to discern which person is who. You can click. It's two sides to this. Both do love bomb. However, one is love bombing from a place of trying to get you to hold on a little longer while they figure that shit out. Versus the other one is love bombing you just because it's a fun ass game. And it's time for you to check mate on their ass. This this is your energy. I don't even know why I got mixed in there. This is you right here. You right here in the midst on both sides saying checkmate. You literally have complete control over this situation. What is it that they need to be aware of? Earth signs. Yeah, somebody is definitely like fishing for information on you, trying to figure some shit out. Someone might want to travel towards you or you could try to see where it is that you're talking about traveling. I do feel like a lot of you are mentioning traveling to somewhere else and they're nosy as hell in your business. So I say be careful what you posting on social media because they are definitely watching you. For those of you who are posting intentionally for this person, chill out. Yeah, Spirit just showed me that. I heard it loud and clear too. Like, chill out. Didn't I tell you? They, they in your business trying to see what's going on. And it's all because that now this 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 playboy over here, playboy, fuck girl, whatever you want to call it, however the situation resonates for you, this person is feeling rejected by you. 
And if you're feeling that energy, they're projecting that towards you, okay? So release that. You need to stand up and, and pray and do a cleanse of yourself. Even if you just use your hands, your energetic aura is everything. I release all energy that is being projected upon me by those I am no longer in contact with or have not spoken to or doesn't do not resonate with any longer. Once you release that, you will be able to find a sense of, okay, those feelings was not mine. Someone needed to know that. Because me, I'm a literal spiritual sponge from the from my head to my toes. And I always make sure that I release any energy just from anyone I'm no longer in contact with. Um, and just anything like that. So just be cautious though. I do feel like somebody is about to come back through with their fake ass smiles, their fake ass I miss you. They they probably even take it as far as to say, you know I love you. What you love? What you love? Leaving me behind? They need to love getting their shit together. They need to love balancing their life out because that's what was tearing them up. And I just feel like your energy, oh, excuse me, your energy does something to help clear that out for them and don't allow them to use you. And if you ever recognize that when you deal with somebody and they come around and shit for you, slow down, that's a major indicator to let their ass go. Whew. But this is what I have for you, Earth Signs. My Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I hope that this message... This I can't talk. Somebody is tongue-tied, bro. Somebody ain't finna... They, they literally working hard as hell on how they gonna come in and try to finesse you again. Better you stronger than that. I tell them, bitch, please. So that's all I have for you today, Earth Signs. If this message, like I said, resonates with you, make sure that you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Leave a comment below. Um, I do try to be active with responding to you guys. And I will see you later. If you would like to book a personal reading, all of that, again, is listed in the description box for you. Stay beautiful. Just stay fuck nigga free too.